Hi, everybody. I've, uh, I've been on a lot of ladders these last few months, so this is like home for me to be on a ladder fixing lights again. Um, thank you very much for coming. I prepared a speech. Normally I just wing it and I make these things up, but this is important, so I, I was told I can't do that. So, hi everybody. Uh, we're gonna talk about what I'm wearing. No, I'm just kidding. This is, this is, not, this is not the Armory's YouTube channel, so I'm not gonna do that. My name is Mark Cho. I'm the co-founder of the Armory and the director of this space here, the Petter Arcade. Uh, this place was my idea, and if something's going wrong with it, please blame someone next to me, don't blame you. Now, um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming this evening. If you can spare me your attention for a few minutes, uh, I'd like to tell you the story of how this whole project came together. So, I love retail. I love making places that I can invite my friends to and that they might enjoy and maybe even buy some things that they like. And my dream was always to create a shopping arcade. I actually always thought that if I wasn't working on the armory, I might return to London and try to take over and develop one of the older, lesser known shopping arcades in the city. Now, uh, two years ago, uh, when we all were knee deep in the frustration of COVID, I wanted to do something new in Hong Kong. You know, I was so tired of the inaction, of the feeling of slow decline, and even the armory felt a little stuck and I had considered even leaving this building. However, I started the Armory here 13 years ago, and I feel a very strong emotional attachment to this building and to this place, and so I would not leave it so easily. And instead of turning my back on this place, I wanted to bring it to life. So on June 16th, 2021, I managed to get a meeting with Mr. Sherman Tang, who is one of the owners of the building, and also the owner of this bar, I might add. I had pitched him this idea of the Pedder Arcade. Uh, I wanted to create something new in Hong Kong while fulfilling this long-standing dream of running a shopping arcade, as well as creating a new home for the armory. It took me six months of weekly martinis with Sherman, and also my constant pestering of the other landlord, Mr. Ian Falk, and eventually they decided that this was a gamble that was worth taking. And for this opportunity, I am deeply grateful. From the beginning, I worked on this project with my interior designer partner in crime, Ms. Catherine Wong, uh, to create a compelling space that encouraged people to dwell and to browse and to explore. This place that we're in right now is the concourse and the atrium. And I'd like to think of it as fundamental to giving the arcade a sense of community. After we completed the designs and then the construction of the space, I had to figure out who would be the right neighbors to make this place feel like a great neighborhood. So I spoke to my friend Thomas Parazzi at Phillips over there, uh, and he thankfully saw the potential of what we were doing. And so Phillips was the second long-term tenant for, signed for the space. The other spaces were slower to rent. There was a lot of interest, but because it was such a new and unproven concept, I could tell that many brands were still waiting on the sidelines to see what might happen. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and create stores by myself on behalf of, of my friends' brands. And thus, the Drappers pop up over there, the Drew Moore pop up over here, the Nigel Caborn pop up over there, and also the Armory study in conjunction with Davidoff over there. That was how that was born. In fact, this arcade was also made possible because of a great auction that Phillips held for me last year called the Beauty in Everything Sale, where I sold most of my personal watch collection so I sold 66 watches last year, and that very much helped to pay for this project. Um, and yeah, here we are at the grand opening, right? So why was I so determined to complete this project? Because there were many moments where we probably should have given up, where it would have been prudent to scale down the project, to aim for something smaller and easier to achieve. And I kept going with this project for a few reasons. 
For better or worse, my projects always end up going against the grain. We launched the Armory right after the global financial crisis in 2008 in a little unit in this building at the end of a dark hallway that was considered a no man's land. And now, 13 years later, we are five stores across New York and Hong Kong, as well as a thriving online business. We are thankfully surviving well. I think that there are great things that simply hide in plain sight. They can reveal themselves under just the right circumstances, but it takes some effort to create them. You know, the best watches I've ever owned came to me because I believed in them before someone else did. And in the same way, I believe that the Perry Building's true potential has yet to fully relieve, uh, reveal itself. I believe this new building will find a new life. I also believe this way of shopping will find its place in Hong Kong, something that is sophisticated but unassuming, something that is calm but engaging. These are experiences that I think we are all seeking. For the last few years, every time I would visit other countries, work in my other shops, visit my other clients, I would constantly hear, are you okay? Is Hong Kong okay? And they would look at me with this slightly sad, slightly pitying look and a sad tone in their voice, and it just drove me crazy. This isn't just some city. This is Hong Kong. And despite everything that we have gone through over the last four years, this is still a great city. And, that's right. And rather than complain about the government not helping us or complaining about those outside of Hong Kong throwing us shade, I wanted to change the course of our narrative ourselves. This project exists today because there are still people who really believe in Hong Kong. And I think many, if not most of you in this room, believe in Hong Kong too. It is an amazing city. It has stunning natural beauty. It has incredible man-made creation. But most importantly, it is the home of people with an unfatiguing, strong spirit that can and will just keep going and going through anything. I hope that the Petter Arcade will live up to the promise of Hong Kong and leave its imprint in the region and in the world. And if you ever see the Puder Avenue Cage in Shenyang or some weird city like that, you'll at least know where the original came from. So please enjoy this place that very many people have worked very hard to create and are very proud of. Come here, relax, enjoy, do some shopping, hang out, bring your friends, tell your acquaintances, and most importantly, tell the world that the story of Hong Kong is far from over. Okay, I'm done for real. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Cheers.